Hey, what you doing? Don't look over there, look up here. I got something to talk to you about today. Yeah, hi, how you doing? I wanna to talk to you about the most important PLA I think I found in 2023. This right here is PLA Plus Skin Edition from Filament PM. And I think it is the most important PLA of this year. You wanna know why? Stay tuned, I'll be sure to tell you here at the next decade. So why do I think that this is the most important PLA of 2023? To put it very simply, it's relatable. It's something that's relatable for everybody. Everybody has skin. Everybody has different skin tones. And while we only have four right here right now, our friends over at Filament PM assure me they have more on the way. And I think that's super important because how many times have you seen somebody turn away a prosthetic because it looked like a toy? Sometimes you'll see people turn these things away because they just want something that looks like their hand. And that's what I think is so cool about this filament is that now you can give them that option if you want to. I think it's so, so damn cool that there is a filament out there now that does everything it can to replicate human skin color. And it goes beyond making little tiny statues of people. Prosthetics is where this is going to be perfect with. And it doesn't stop with limbs either. It could be something as easy as maybe a uh, hoop that can hook around what's left of somebody's ear, or maybe even something that somebody can use for their nose in the meantime. And knowing that they have these colors available, what's stopping them from moving into flexible filaments as well? See where I'm going with that? Like I was talking about the nose and the ear thing, flexibles would be perfect with these kind of colors. I mean, think about all the different applications that it could be used for, not just from people who lost their limbs, but people who were born without them, or maybe people that were born with like a very simple birth defect that they can't really grow more skin for, or heck, burn victims. That's, it's fantastic. And then maybe even a step further, memorial pieces, things that look like their friends and families. Like you can go further than just making little tiny statues of movie stars. Now, I was first introduced to this filament back at East Coast Rep Rep Fair, and Filament PM had a sample of it, and I absolutely loved the sample they passed me. Here, I'll show you what I made. Now, I'm sure you've heard me talk about this plenty of times before, but this is my Spock figure, and I absolutely love him. How are you doing today, Spock? Very bad. Thank you for the pre-recorded voice line. Very cool, Leonard. Anyways, uh, it, it blew me away how much detail was caught with just the filament by itself, and everything you see painting here was just with a Sharpie. It's not the most perfect job, but hey, well, I decided to go all in on this filament and try all the different types that were available to me. So let's go over the colors that are available to us right now. The cool thing about these skin tone series filaments is that they are using Pantone colors. Specifically, they're using Pantone 477C, 478C, 479C, and 480C. Filament PM didn't know where to start when they were starting this skin series product. So they reached out to John Hopkins Hospital out in Maryland, United States, to try to get the best idea of what they needed. Together, they narrowed it down to about seven Pantones out of the 110 skin to Pantone colors available. And they sent those to many different countries across the world, places like Africa, Netherlands, France, and the United States. And out of those countries, they narrowed it down to about four different colors. And that's what we have right here in front of us today. They hope to release more of these colors soon, as long as they do well and there's decent feedback. But the feedback that you guys give them will lead them to choose new colors and new tones in the future. So it's up to you guys to check this out and make more of these available for everyone else. I, I can't recommend this highly enough. Majority of these skin tone filaments are close to skin tone filaments I've seen before. Always have these really shiny kind of PLA colors to them, but Filament PM went above and beyond to make sure that these guys got really nice and matte colors, closer to what skin actually looks like. And I think that's super, super damn cool. So we started with Robert Downey Jr., Danny Trejo, Jonathan Majors, and Don Cheadle. Cause you know, three of these guys have to be Marvel dudes and like, I'm just gonna be really real with y'all. I want Armor Wars already. Um, okay, Don Cheadle's not getting any younger. Robert Downey Jr. is already out of it. And uh, Danny Trejo's right there. I think he's the next pick for Iron Man. Anyways, what's up with my John Majors? So 
So our friend Martina over at Filament PM said, in every way, any idea is welcome. And she wants more feedback on these filaments in particular. So I'm gonna call out you, the audience, and a couple people in particular. How about Joel from 3D Printing Nerd, Stefan from CNC Kitchen, and let's go for Angus down in, in Australia, Maker's Muse. You three guys are some of the biggest dudes I know in 3D printing. Do you guys have any ideas of what else we could do with this? Do you know any metal, medical institutions that may be interested in trying this filament for some prosthetic practices? Like, do you have any ideas of what you can do with these filaments? It would really mean a lot if you could help us out. I'm very basic when it comes to my 3D printing levels and like I want to do more stuff like this, especially prosthetics for people that want those, these kind of things, but ultimately I don't have the same machines as some of you boys. And I also don't have some of the same degrees as Stefan over there and probably Angus too. So check these out. Let me know what you think of them and let's all talk together sometime. Let's go tell Martina like this is what we came up with. And hey, audience, down there on the bottom too, like if you have a 3D printer or you do cool 3D printing stuff and you want to get access to this, go ahead and go grab it at the Filament PM website. Each spool runs a little bit less than $30 USD. I think they're completely worth it, especially if you want to test stuff or make stuff for friends and family. And yeah, show us what you're making with it. Like Martina said, in every way, any idea is welcome. So if you have any idea of what we could do with this, let us know down in the comments below or shoot us a video response. I'd love to see it. Hey, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I have two extra heads right here that I printed with, uh, you know, with alongside John. Gee, you know, just for little cheeky Marvel jokes here and there. I'm not really the world's biggest Marvel person, but I really enjoyed Kang. So if you want one of these Kang head pieces, leave a nice comment down below. Maybe I'll send one to you for free. Catch you next time.